They are everywhere, but to a large extent, invisible. Embedded systems are considered the brains of many appliances. One of Electronica's main focuses this year is embedded hardware and software components. Because a central issue for the industry, and hence for manufacturers Contron, is the increasing networking of embedded systems among one another. Studies show that in two or three years, more machines and devices will be communicating with each other than with people. Thus, the whole spectrum in the mobility networks is becoming increasingly exhausted. One must see to it that this multitude of devices that communicate also communicate effectively. This is the first step towards the so-called Industry 4.0. In the future, the product will inform the machine via RFID code how it will be filled up and transported. Thus, we will get a reversal of the previous production logic from central to decentralized control. However, precisely this increased functionality of systems is in conflict with its safety. The Southern Inspection Agency looks into this set of problems in its embedded systems test lab. The most common concerns that we have today are safety and security, making the systems safe. Safety means in this case protecting the system to render it redundant if something fails, then to activate certain security features, redundancy mechanisms, but also to protect the whole thing from the technical data point of view, to prevent unwanted intervention from outside, because there are simply new interfaces to the outside. But it's not only an industry where the secure communication of intelligent systems is a crucial issue. Microelectronic processes are also increasingly being used in medicine. The semiconductor manufacturer Texas Instruments and the TU Munich are already working on a sensor for tumor monitoring. We are right now miniaturizing this prototype so that, here you can see a vision of the whole, in the future one will be able to easily introduce it into the human body, for example with minimal surgical instruments. The sensor will measure the activity of the tumor directly in the diseased tissue. These data are transmitted to the doctor and enable a highly accurate therapy. The Fraunhof Center for Modular Solid State Technology devotes a part of their research to the subject of health. Using a molecular reaction, the degree of freshness of meat and sausages is determined and displayed on a color screen. The sensor technology translates the result into readable values. An app could then in the future help the consumer to interpret the color. The blue point would mean hands off, contaminated. But the concrete application in the supermarket is still a long way off. And interdisciplinary exchange is in the meantime essential. For us at the Fraunhofer Institute, Electronica is very interesting because we can get together with the users and above all show the manufacturers new ideas. The future of embedded systems is not simply written in the stars. They can already today cause textiles to glow like celestial bodies. Other new developments in the field of embedded systems will be presented from the 13th to the 16th of November 2012 at Electronica.